And thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, thank you so much for week two. And this is the second episode this week of Pep Talk Prayers. This is my breakdown of my book. You can hit the link on the screen right now if you want to get a copy of it so that you can follow along with us. And I'll make sure I circle back at the end to give you the opportunity to join in as well. So guys, I wanted to just say thank you so much for following along with the series again. And also to make sure you like, you subscribe, and you hit the notification so that you can keep getting information as I upload um, over the coming weeks and months, okay? So y'all, today, the excerpt that we are talking about is on page 67, and it is under the section on action steps. And so basically, the whole breakdown and the concept of this particular part is there's the scripture in the Bible about uh, don't give your pearls to swine, right? And so um, before you get to that section, uh, I mean, the section that we're going to talk about the ploy, we're talking about pearls and how you shouldn't give your pearls to swine, essentially. But I did a quick little prayer so that people can kind of understand like the context of it, right? But check this out. So the ploy, these two are together because this is what the enemy tries to do, y'all. The enemy tries to encourage you to give your pearls to swine. That's the ploy. So what they do is, is basically like putting lipstick on the pig, right? Put lipstick on the pig, try to say that it's cute and it's something that it's not. And it's a, a counterfeit the entire time. And usually what happens in those situations is because at some point when we disconnect from our creator, okay, when we disconnect from who made us and has us walking with limbs on this earth, when we connect, excuse me, when we disconnect in a way where we begin to seek outside of that to get instructions, it's almost like you are trying to find an instruction manual from something that does not match the thing that you're trying to get the information on. So let's just say you have a TV and you have an instruction manual for the TV, but you opt out of using that manual and say, you know what? I'm going to just use the one for the computer. Or you know what? I'm going to use the one for the oven. Those other instruction manuals are not going to help you with the TV because you need the instruction manual for the TV. And I'm, I can tell you again, for me, I'm a living witness. I did this early, early on, like several, several years ago when I was trying to find my way spiritually and kind of reset myself because I had a whole bunch of spiritual things going on and I didn't really know how to, um, you know, engage them. Like I, I didn't really know what I was feeling. I was just having natural inclinations. Again, I was, I would remember being a small girl telling my daddy stuff as soon as I would tell him it would happen. I just had these weird experiences my whole life and I really just did not know how to move forward. And so what I would find myself doing, I was trying to talk to people so that I could just get to another spiritual plane. And I didn't even realize how in my ambition to try to make certain things happen, if it was career, if it was relationship, if it was opportunity, if it was just trying to amass all of this knowledge so that I can do X, Y, and Z, the enemy began to manipulate that. The enemy began to make me think that the, the bad advice that I was getting from people, the crazy stuff I was reading, the stuff I was trying to connect with and say, oh, well, you know, if this is like this, then that means that. Because, you know, everything that's set up like this, that mean this person like this, this day like that. Okay, so what I ended up discovering was that stuff was extremely damning. And what I did not understand was if I am genuinely trying to use my spiritual GPS, which is the actual cheat code, which is the actual VIP, which is the actual thing that you want, no doubt, that's the actual thing you want. Once you realize that, it, it really like shapes your thinking and reshapes your thinking because you're like, yo, like I really want, I really want this. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I want to be able to figure this out because I know I'm being led by my spirit. Now, once 
the Lord might lead me and guide me in a particular direction, y'all, and he leads me to somebody or to, to study something or whatever, I will absolutely do that. But for me, I mean, y'all, I was wild magnolia out here in these streets, y'all. I was just like, just looking at anything that I could get my hands on, taking it all in. Because here's the thing, what people don't understand about the spirit realm, the spirit realm is active. So when, when you put something negative out, again, the Bible tells you death and life is in the power of the tongue. So that's why they say you got to watch what you say, because you, you're not understanding when you start crossing up stuff and putting certain things out there and you don't know where that stuff is coming from, you can start getting negative results. You can start getting bad results. And you're thinking that this is harmless and it doesn't mean anything. And then you're like, wait, why does this part of my life don't work? Or why is this person in my life? And you're starting to realize that you're attracting people into your inner circle and your core who have beliefs and are pulling on things and calling on people and all of this stuff that don't line up with, 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 with where you are. Your creator is literally taking you somewhere else. And I want to be very clear about this. This is usually something that people don't like to talk about because everybody is just not everybody, but a lot of people just seem to be pretty hell bent on not talking about the reality of things. And they want to hit you over the head with a Bible when the word of God is really supposed to be fluid in, in, in a living word, which means that it can apply to what you're doing now and it can apply to yesteryear and it applies tomorrow, to tomorrow as well. But when you are dealing with the word of God, you should not be feeling condemnation. And what I started feeling with trying to figure out all these other things and hitting up this one, man, I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go higher in the spirit realm. And again, not using any type of godly context and not using anything that connected to my creator. Again, my creator has the instruction manual for me. So I was trying to find a different instruction manual for me. And that is why it is a ploy. That is what it is set up for, because if the enemy can get you to, to take the instruction manual that comes to you from your creator and say, I'm going to take my instruction manual and send it to the side and I'm going to go to somebody else to go high spiritually or to figure out something else, then you're you're headed for disaster. And that is what this is about, because what we begin to understand is when it comes to spiritual things, y'all, you have to be very mindful of who you're connecting with and how you are aligning. There are a lot of words going around lately, a lot of things people just throwing out there and saying, and they have no context. I am more concerned about if I'm if I do say a scripture or God leads me to a scripture, I want to have enough wherewithal to say that so that I can give you genuine context. I don't want to just throw something at you or give it to you. That's why many times you'll hear on my, my channel, I say, hold up, y'all go look it up yourself. I, I All I know is that that's what it is, but go looking up. I'm genuine when I do that. I have no desire to try to hoodwink nobody or make anybody try to follow something or do something and they're not doing the things that God needs them to do according to his perfect will for their lives. Again, that is literally the title of this book, Pep Talk Prayers on Faith, Seeking God's Perfect Will. That is the whole point of all of this. And that's why it is so important that as I close out with today's pep talk, I want you to think because I end up with three questions. Okay, so I want to make sure that you guys hear me out, grab the book, write the questions down, and just see where these action steps take you. So I'm going to read the prayer and then we're going to ride out. Okay. So thank you guys again for listening to me. And I really appreciate it. I want you to join me on Friday. And Friday, we're talking about levels. We're talking about going up a level. You're going to love that one too. So check this out. Here's the ploy. Seeking other sources for answers to get to a new quote unquote spiritual plane is dangerous. The devil loves ambitious people. Don't be fooled. You will see results from other entities that are not of God because the spirit realm is very real. The problem is that the source is not benevolent. It only appears that way. Are you mixing ungodly practices, but looking for God to bless you despite engaging in the very things that he told you not to entertain? Let's do a hard check. Number one, do you feel like other spiritual things are happening that you didn't learn in the word? So you've disconnected from your foundation of faith? Number two, have you connected with people who are encouraging you to disassociate from the things of God, despite that tiny little tug in your spirit that's telling you something is off about what they're saying and something is off about them? And number three, 
Do you seek an awakening, an esoteric experience driven by ego so that you can bypass God's process and adopt another to reach your goals? Now, I know those questions were heavy. Play that back. Sit with it. Hit the comments. I got a question for you. Let me know if you have had this struggle. If you don't mind being transparent, please don't. You don't have to if you don't want to share. But if you have had that back and forth with your spirituality and trying to connect with God and other things maybe have distracted you, you've maybe taken God out of the equation because he was taking too long for you to see your goals come to pass, let us know. Hit the comments and be transparent. We'd love to see it and hear it. And I'll definitely engage you in the comment section. So guys, that's it for today. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and turn on your notifications. Have a blessed and awesome day. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too.